Hey, hope everyone is doing well during this pandemic. I'm Edward, and this is another episode of Is It Worth Your Money series on Gamers Clinic. In today's video, let me begin by asking if you've ever played video games on your phone, and not too long after, your phone starts to get really warm, and then the game starts to stutter or lag, making it unplayable. Well, if you have, then today's video is for you. Having switched over to the Razer Lucky it's certified for up to 3 meters drop. Having switched over to the Razer Artec Pro for 4 months now, I will share my feedback and experience from gaming on my iPhone XS compared to when I was still using my previous Element case. So don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you're new here, and let's throttle into the details. At first, I was skeptical towards Razer Artec Pro when Razer launched this case last year. I wondered if simply by adding a layer of thermophene on a phone case and then it will be able to provide exceptional cooling properties, then why haven't other major phone case manufacturers done it already? But having run into the problem of my phone throttling constantly when I play games on it and then having to wait for it to cool down before I can play again, the problem eventually got on my nerve so I decided to give the Razer Artec Pro a try. The reason I chose the Pro, whoops. The reason I chose the Pro instead of the Slim is because it offers more protections on the side and on the screen area while being only slightly thicker. So my first impressions of this case was that it has a soft matte surface which was very nice to the touch. On the inside, there is also a soft microfiber lining to prevent your phone from being scratched by the case which is also nice to the touch. Upon putting on the case, the Arctic Pro version does not add much bulk to the iPhone while still feeling very sturdy which is a personal plus. I also did not have any issues with wireless charging so that's a relief. On the back, the word Razer is engraved into the case with a hint of the infamous Razer green at the camera lens cutout and the exterior perforations making the case subtle enough not to stand out obnoxiously. Overall, it looks and feels like a well-built phone case. Now, moving on to the gaming performance of the case. Razer claims that this case will keep your phone cool during the heat of the battle due to the addition of the thermophene performance layer in between the back lining of the case. According to Razer, this, therm <laughs> this thermophene layer works by conducting excess Sift trapped heat out through the vented channels behind the case to keep your phone cool and prevent CPU slowdowns from thermal throttling. And just in case you are wondering what is why thermal throttling happens, it is a built-in self-defense function in devices where it will temporarily reduce performance by lowering voltage in order to shed the excess heat generated to protect microprocessors. Because too much heat will damage and shorten the lifespan or the, of the chip or processor, by having an effective phone cooling, you will be able to game on your phone longer without the sudden drop in performance or frame rates during intense matches. So, to test and see if this thermophene layer works, I timed the duration I was able to game on my phone before thermal throttling kicks in using the Razer Arctic Pro, my old element case, and without the case on. The location or setting for the test that I have chose are inside my car while parked at an indoor parking lot while waiting for my daughter to finish her, her extracurricular classes and sitting outdoors on a really sunny and hot day. Because these are the most common scenarios that I experience thermal throttling while gaming on my phone. I collected the time data over 3 different days playing multiplayer in Fortnite and Asphalt 9 over 4G connection and here are the average results. Surprisingly. The Arctic Pro does actually deliver an average of 15% more gaming time compared to the Element case under both test settings, and an average of 6% less playtime compared to not having any case on. Although, playing without a case did deliver the longest playing time, but unless you want to risk dropping and breaking a $1000 phone, having a case is probably the safest choice. Also, playing the car. The overall gaming time was decreased by approximately 40% due to less air circulation and heat buildup in the ambient air temperatures. So having good air circulation will definitely help keeping your phone cool as seen in the results of playing on 3 different hot days by the beach. Although when filming videos directly under the sun, it didn't matter which case I used, 
It was only a short while before I could feel my phone be start to become really warm and less responsive. So now that we know that the Razer Arctic Pro does keep your phone slightly cooler, let me share with you two things I did not like. First of all, the soft matte finish on the case is nice to the touch, but it is also prone to trapping your finger oils and is easily scratched. About After about a month or two of daily usage, your case will begin to show signs of wear and tear. Secondly, if your hands tend to sweat during intense gaming sessions, then this case might not be for you. As for my experience, your sweat will enter through the perforated holes on the back and seep in and get trapped in the microfiber lining on the inside. And over time, although it hasn't happened to me yet, I'm guessing that the case might start to smell funky. All right, another potential negative thing I read from other users' negative experience with the iPhone 11 Pro and the iPhone Pro 11 Pro Max while using this case is that the green ring around the camera lens area will create a green halo reflection effect when taking photos with the flash on. Although it is only some users who report experiencing this, but just take note of this if you're using this phone model and are considering to get the Razer Arctic Pro. So overall, yeah, the Razer Arctic Pro is a reasonably priced phone case that does manage to keep your phone cool if you play intense games or record a lot of 4K video on your phone. It is currently available for the Razer Phone 2, iPhone models 10 and above, and Samsung Note 10, Note 10 Plus, Galaxy S10, S10 Plus. So if you're currently using any of these phone models and are sick of your game stuttering mid-game, then this case might be your solution. All right. Thank you as always for watching. If you enjoyed today's video, hit that like button as it will help this channel a lot more than you know it. I'll see you again in the next video. Oh, I gotta play less mobile games.